What is going on guys, welcome to another Nation of Expert Gaming videos and today I've got for you an AC Milan transfer team uh, Obviously you see, I think it's Abiati and Net, uh, constant left, but we have Ram, I think it's Ramoy Or Ram, Remy, Ram, Ramoy I'm going to go for, um, the uh, transfer player We've got, uh, I think it's Zapta, uh, Abate, Essien again, CDM um, is transferred and Honda as well El Shawawi, um, I think, I can't pronounce it, it's like Niang or something like that uh, But he's transferred out now, but though he's the only right mid in the team so uh, I had to pick him, and then obviously we have Balotelli and Rabinho up front. This team was actually a really, really good team. Um, Balotelli scoring quite a few, uh, Rabinho knocking a few in as well, and Honda actually, uh, he bossed it to be honest. I think he scored a hat-trick in one match. Um, he didn't score like a crap load, but to be fair, that's that's the striker's role. But he surprised me quite a lot. He has very good free kicks as well. I'm pretty sure there's a free kick somewhere in there. Um, and yeah, the team actually played really well. Uh, if you've watched the Man U match, um, you obviously know that uh, it it actually is um, kind of like my thing to have clubs. I do like playing with like a good club. Um, if I got like Real Madrid, if I got their full team, I'm sure it'd be absolutely sick. But like Man U, Chelsea, Liverpool, all all the teams I buy like that um, are really good and seem to win quite a lot of matches. And I don't know why, um, because when I buy like expensive teams with like mixed people, I think it might be just kind of like the the work rates of like uh, say the Man U team just aligns for some reason to be really good and they play well together um, and possibly I need to kind of think about work rates and kind of like players together um, how they do work and see if like uh, anything like that makes a difference yeah I'm, I think I'm kind of like battling on there but what I mean is kind of like players that link with each other not just getting the most expensive or the most uh, top rated players in the in that team um, actually think about what will complement each other if I've got a fast striker do I need another fast striker to like to accompany him or to be honest do I need a bit more of a tank like a sturdy feature uh, a, a, a sturdy feature in the team like like what I've got in my uh, sweat team I've got Ben Teke up front he's just an absolute animal and then I've got Remy who is literally just pace whoring um, down that wing and yeah it works really well together so I don't know if I do need that um, Honda scoring some absolutely beautiful goals there and yeah, that, that's really all I wanted to say. The AC Milan team was actually really good. Um, yeah, I got to try out the some of the transferred players. I didn't get to try out uh, Tarat, which was unfortunate, but I will be probably doing maybe another squad with him in. Possibly just the Serie A squad, or uh, find some more transferred players that I've not used, um, and possibly use them as well. So yeah, we'll have to see what goes on with that. Um, this team was actually really good. So, yeah, apart from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment on any of the squads you'd like to see me make, and anything in general, um, and subscribe for more content. So I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.